There's no worse feeling than when you engage in an internet argument with some anonymous asshole, and then it turns out that that asshole is extremely talented. Today I have a very sad story to share with you where the villain gets the last laugh. Real life isn't like anime, where the good guys always win. Sometimes the bully comes and puts your head in the toilet and flushes. So it all starts with this video. A YouTuber posts their best performance of an impossible piece of music called Rush E. Now obviously I'm a fucking Neanderthal when it comes to piano, I don't know anything about any major pieces except from like your big ones like Mozart and Bach, so I had never heard of Rush E before, so I did a little research. Rush E was actually a song created as a meme that is quite literally impossible for any human being to play, and I don't mean that as like it's extremely difficult, I mean it is genuinely impossible. You would need 15 fucking arms and even then you would struggle. Let me go ahead and show you where it started, the genesis of Rush E. If any human being actually performed this song as written here, it would probably end the world on the spot, or bring about the heat death of the entire universe. It would signal Armageddon. It is quite literally an impossible piece of music that was made to be a joke. However, some piano players on YouTube tried their best to kind of change it around a little bit, uh, mess with the arrangement in order to make it almost possible to play on the piano, which is the video I just showed you there, which is giving a very spirited attempt at making it happen. And I thought it was very good. Uh, of course, I'm not a piano expert by any means, but most people that watched it also agreed that it was extremely impressive what he was able to do. And this spawned an argument in the YouTube comments. YouTube comments are the cesspool of the internet. It is absolutely fucking deplorable down there very often. But in this comment section, it was overwhelmingly positive. But just like everywhere on the internet, there has to be that douchebag that comes in and shits on everyone's fun. Just ruins the entire positive atmosphere of everything. They drop their pants and go see themselves and just makes everyone feel worse. Their presence making everything more negative. Keep in mind, this piece is literally impossible to play. You saw it. It looked like a Toho bullet hell game. But that didn't stop some enlightened Redditor from demanding perfection. It actually comes from this comment, which is a very nice comment from a guy named Just a Guy Who Likes Hentai. He says, how can you dislike this? I don't see anyone else actually playing this. You know, that's just a very wholesome thing. Like, you know, this is so good, I can't imagine someone not liking it. It's just being nice, you know? Obviously, there's going to be people that don't like it, but it's just a very encouraging comment. But it summoned a demon. A piano-playing demon named Fanchin. Fanchin replies to that comment saying, Probably because it was mediocre. No offense. Yeah, no offense, buddy, but you just fucking suck and you should be embarrassed that you posted this video. It actually made me physically ill. I puked and was so offended by your awful mediocre playing that I broke up with my own girlfriend in protest. This isn't constructive criticism. I saw a lot of people defending this saying he was just offering criticism or answering the question. No, he's just being an asshole. There's nothing constructive about this. You just saying that it's not good without saying like where they could improve isn't really constructive criticism. It's just you being a douchebag. And obviously he wasn't genuinely answering the question in the comment of how can anyone dislike this because it wasn't a real question. It was just an encouraging statement. It's like, it's like when you get told a story like, can you believe my parents got divorced? And then your friend responds with, yeah, I can, because your parents are fucking selfish sluts. It's like, well, I, I wasn't actually asking you if you can believe it, you know? It's not like a real question. It was just a supportive comment. So there's really no justifying being a douchebag here other than just being a dick. So then the guy responds saying, was it? I'd like to see you try. So come on, give us an awe-inspiring performance. Spoiler alert, he would soon regret issuing this challenge. Fanchin responds, oh boy, you will embarrass yourself, I'll show you what a good performance of this piece sounds like, to which the hentai fan says, then do it, stop talking, and do it. Now, ten times out of ten on the internet, when some anonymous asshole makes statements like this, you don't expect them to follow through on it, and even less often you will expect them to be good at anything, 
but this is the exception. This is the anomaly. This is probably the first time in history someone has actually followed through on a statement like this and actually been good at it. Fanchin responds saying, maybe you can pay me, then I'll be motivated, LMFAO. He's pretty arrogant and pompous, to which Hintai responds, so being known as a jealous contrarian liar until you post your own rendition isn't a good enough motivation for you? Sorry, but that's all you're gonna get. And then Fanchin again, he's twirling that cartoonishly evil mustache and says, Haha, sure, why not? Fun summer project. Maybe I'll get more views. And then other people kind of come in here and tell him to shut up. They don't really like his negative attitude. The comment section starts to gain a little bit of infamy, so more people come in with the popcorn to watch from the sidelines. You can see the war has erupted, and now we're watching the commenters fight. Uh, another challenge was issued saying, Upload something by Scott, that guy, other than MLR or Entertainer. Again, I'm not familiar with piano pieces, so I don't even know what that challenge is. I'm assuming it's difficult. And then eventually Fanchin comes back and says, wouldn't have the confidence to upload a performance that I'm not pleased with, but yes, props to the guy for attempting it. It's just this could have been played with much more accuracy had he spent more time polishing, which is something I will show. It's pretty much learned a tempo, but I'm striving for consistency and clarity. So he finally gives like almost a constructive criticism there, and then he gives his rendition of this piece. And unfortunately, it fucking slaps. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the hentai guy deleted his channel after that. I mean, it's unlucky that the guy that he was arguing with was the only person on the internet who happens to talk shit anon anonymously and be able to back it up with real talent. Y you really hate to see that. You hate to see an anonymous internet asshole turn out to be really good at something. It's, that's a horrible feeling. I know when he watched this video, like when he dropped the video... He was probably still so confident, like, yeah, this is gonna fucking blow. And then he started listening, and as his erection grew, he felt more and more shame. Hentai guy was just sitting there stewing in anger, like, fuck, he's actually good. Damn you, curses! Because, I mean, that's how I felt, and I wasn't even involved in the argument. But I think this also illustrates an extremely important point. No matter how talented you are, it can be overshadowed by a shitty attitude. A lot of the comments here, and even in the Reddit thread, were just kind of saying the same meme of... Pretty me mediocre, no offense. Like, not even respecting his very clear talent, because they don't like him. If you're insufferable and unlikable, people aren't going to respect your skill. And I think that's... It, now, granted, it's not everyone, because the video is still overwhelmingly liked, but it could have been a truly positive experience had he just gone about it in a much better way. Like, you know, this wasn't the best rendition of the song, but I do appreciate the effort that went into it, and in fact, it inspired me to want to learn it myself. And then he drops this video, and then, you know, that's a lot better, I think, and you'd have more people on your side as opposed to just people brushing off your extreme level of talent here because you were an asshole in the comments to someone that was just proud of their own rendition of the piece. Like, his arrangement of this, this is like a custom arrangement, obviously, because you can't play it as written. His arrangement is extremely solid, and his performance is unreal. Like, absolutely unreal. And to have that just thrown to the side because he was super unlikable is a real shame, I think. So, I mean, this was a pretty wild experience because I've never seen this before. Like I said, 10 times out of 10, when you're arguing with someone on the internet anonymously, that person behind the keyboard's usually a coward that doesn't really have a lot going for them. But in this really rare instance, that, that anonymous guy was a fucking piano prodigy. So, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you all. That's about it. See ya.